yeah, pretty exciting times ahead. Um, uh, pretty cold, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, been a great journey so far. And, and this year, obviously, having the team together, um, staying at the Mantra in a hotel and actually doing everything together has been really amazing and a great session for us to, to really bond together and get to know the girls. Rather than last year, we, um, we, we were apart and only came together for training sessions and, and game day. So, yeah. For the Bulldogs girls at the moment, the Victorian girls have been training together for a few weeks beforehand. Has it been the same over in WA? Have the WA girls managed to get together and have a bit of a discussion or maybe kick the footy about just to get to know each other prior to this match? Yeah, no, not quite. Um, our girls, there was about 15 of us. There was Western Bulldogs, um, I think it was about seven there and about, uh, yeah, eight of us to, to Melbourne. So, yeah, not, not quite. We believe, I suppose, uh, getting all the girls together, um, you know, there's no point doing one thing and talking about, uh, you know, with eight people when uh, you get to team together and you can talk about exactly and all the all the right things that you need to do. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was a difficult week for me actually leading in. So an emotional roller coaster. My my grandma actually my favourite supporter and um, has never missed a game of my football. Actually passed away on Tuesday. So um, big game for me this weekend. Um, and yeah, it's been a, great to be around the girls. They've just been really supportive and, and yeah. And how hard is that? I guess to get back into that mindset of the tragedy you've had to now try and focus on I guess instead of now being with family to now being with your football family and getting back on the park for Sunday. Yeah definitely um, been really really difficult um, but the girls as I said have been really supportive. Um, my family, my grandma actually saw me play last year in the Melbourne Demons and um, as I said I've never missed a game so uh, my family has been really supportive from WA and my new football family here, the Melbourne Demon girls, they've just been terrific so um, you know they're very proud and, and um, I hope Grand's, you know, she'll be not in the grandstand physically but she'll be probably in the biggest grandstand in the sky so yeah. Uh, since the last exhibition game have you noticed a difference at WA State League level about the professionalism and how the girls go about preparing for football now? Yeah definitely. After the game last year there was just this massive hype about about how amazing this game was um, and so when we took that back to WA uh, the amount of media that jumped on it post game um, was quite phenomenal so when when we you know, got got geared up again for this year. Um, everyone was just you know from we've got our junior girls, youth girls, and the whole like fully fledged female pathway is there now. So yeah, everyone's jumping on board, and you know girls can aspire now to be AFL female footballers. So it's very exciting. And of course, because you're, you're amateurs, uh, what does it involve? I guess uh, financially and everything else to prepare yourself to be able to come over to Melbourne to take part in this game. Yeah, look, um, our girls obviously we we play because we love the game. We share the exact same passion as the boys do, um, but unfortunately we don't get paid paid to um, to play. So it is purely just passion and our friends that we we love and our mates um, that we come over and we, we enjoy this. So it is slightly different to the men that that um, drive and motivation for us is purely the passion for our football and to showcase um, the best female football talent in Australia. So yeah, slightly different, um, but yeah, we look forward to really showcasing our elite females this this year. And of course on VWFL Radio we follow the Victorian Women's Football League. We know a lot about the Victorian footballers. Who should we be keeping out an eye from, from WA, that we're playing in the game today? Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, from Melbourne Demons, um, our young stars like uh, Emma Swanson, she played last year and was very, uh, she was only 17 last year and, mm. and did a great job. We've got Kelly Gibson who actually got delisted from the Western Bulldogs and picked up to the Melbourne Demons. Um, just turned 18 and an absolute star. She um, was played in the state under 18s and just absolutely killed it so we're looking forward to see what she brings um, but yeah as I said there's quite a few girls that I've only just starting to meet and um, just seeing them out on the track it's really exciting so you've been rated the best woman footballer out of WA you have in your side Daisy Pierce who's been doubted the best uh, Victorian women's footballer do you girls feel that extra little pressure on a day like today with the exhibition game do you feel like you have to go up another notch because you're on the big stage oh look yes and no I think um, um, the expectation sometimes from others may be expecting us to perform but I think individually ourselves you know we're, we're one of 50 amazing and elite female footballers so um, you know Daisy is an absolute inspiration uh, the way she goes about her business on the field um, but so many other play- players are as well so I think on the day there's you know there's going to be 50, 50 girls out there playing their footy um, as a team and, and we'll be looking forward to really showcasing our talent. Yeah.
And just finally, how hard is it to absorb in the space of, I guess, 48 hours all the information about the game plan that Michelle wants you to perform on Sunday? Yeah, it can be quite difficult. I mean, you can't really do too much. You were trying to squish a whole year into um, into three days. But, you know, um, playing simple footy and just, you know, we've, we've got here for a reason um, because of our talent and our, you know, elite professionalism. So it's just about taking it out onto the field and playing some footy, having some fun with friends and really showcasing what female footy is all about. Chelsea, thanks for your time. No worries. Thank you, Peter.